My goodness, this controller is beautiful. Order 10.05.73. This is for Alex Wilson. This thing is pretty bad, eh, if you ask me. Everything is soft touch. Everything matches. It's even got back buttons and red grip. This is actually an international order. It's going to Canada. I appreciate your order. We're actually growing uh, worldwide quite a bit, getting a lot of orders from the UK and Canada and even Australia lately. So this guy has soft touch gray shell on the front with red cinch grip. It does have standard triggers. So if you compare it to a mouse trigger, it doesn't have that satisfying click, but you know what? If you're playing racing games or anything other than first person shooters, this is absolutely perfect. And I'm willing to bet use your bumpers to shoot. So not a big deal at all. The back shell is cinch grip. So it does have this really nice rugged texture to it. it doesn't hurt your hands though. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's rubbery, but it's also soft. So you feel a difference going between the two textures and this one just uh, stops sweat in its tracks. Looks like you did get a remap chip in this controller so you can change your buttons depending on the game you're playing. So that tells me you're playing a different game. So you don't need the mouse triggers like I said before. You can map these to face buttons, D-pad, really anything you want. So if you're playing Warzone, maybe you want to map to looting and uh, jumping. Or if you're playing like competitive COD, maybe you want it to jump and crouch. Just kind of depends on what you're playing. Uh, maybe you even want it mapped to D-pad for calling in kill streaks if you get that many streaks. Can you imagine someone actually getting 50 kills every game and pressing the button to call in a kill streak? I mean, I've seen it before. I believe this is your first time order, Alex. So I'm curious as to what games you're playing. If you could comment below, that would be awesome. Love to hear what you're playing with this. And uh, maybe this matches your stream setup or something. This color scheme is really cool. Kind of reminds me of like an old school racing car or something. Looks really, really clean. Here's how I shoot the videos. I have the Elgato key light, big one right there. And then I have this Elgato microphone stand that we put a hot shoe mount on this and the camera so I can just kind of film the videos and move it around as I need to. So when I transition from this to that view, it's really easy to do. Compared to some other controllers, yours really stands out. We have a Damascus controller here, uh, engraving with eye patch luck on in an Xbox controller. Yours really stands out as being bright. Let's compare it to some of the other controllers here. So if I put yours right here, I mean, even out of this bunch here, even out of this one that has all these crazy colors, yours stands out quite a bit. So shipping in the US is usually two to three days, typically. Uh, you're in Canada, so it's gonna take a little bit longer than that, but we're gonna get it shipped out to you ASAP. It's up for testing right now. I don't know if you guys saw this in our previous videos, but we do have this clear Xbox controller I think we're going to do a giveaway with next. Um, obviously, the winner could probably pick a PS5 or PS4 if they didn't want the Xbox. It has red solid side panels, black triggers, um, pretty much just an aesthetic build, but man, this thing is cool. This controller, people say it looks like the 49ers team. Um, a lot of these have been here for a while. This was one thing we tried out before with these crazy trigger extenders. They're actually really solid. Looks like the Mighty Ducks logo. I don't know if you guys know that uh, hockey movie from a long time ago. Rubber D-pad, thumbstick extender, kind of like a control freak. Not a bad thing. It was our Cinch Pro kits. We actually sold out of them. So people did like them. Maybe we'll bring them back. Um, pastel Xbox controllers. Just a ton of controllers here. We have some Xbox cases we're trying to get rid of too. We have a lot of those left. Um, we ran out of the PS5 ones, but we are going to bring those back. This old style PS4 cinch box, which was probably, I think I introduced this last year or in 2020, actually yeah, 2021 when I bought the company. So this has kind of been sitting here. But yeah, it's kind of fun to just to take a look at some of these controllers sometimes. Um, this PS4 has mouse click face buttons, mouse click triggers and bumpers, plus a soft touch back and two action buttons. I'll show you my personal controller. You think being the owner of a controller company, I'd have like some super pimped out aesthetic build. But this guy has mouse triggers, mouse bumpers. I have a domed on the right hand side and the uh, left side is just a standard swap top dumb stick. Uh, two back buttons and I play weird, okay? I have the mouse click face buttons and mouse D-pad. I play with the controller shell like pushed into my hand with one back button on the right side and the other finger up here playing claw for square and triangle. I use my middle finger to shoot and pull the trigger. And then my left hand is kind of holding it normally. So I don't know, I play a weird style, but everyone plays their own style. I've seen some guys literally play like this, like play claw, like, I mean like an actual claw, like not like, not like your traditional claw, but like play like this, like no joke. So guys do some crazy stuff in the tournament scene, but that is my uh, controller. Alex Wilson, it is not as cool as your controller, I'll admit that. In fact, I may take this color scheme for my next controller, if you don't mind. But yeah, I'd love to see your comment below and tell me what games you're playing. Appreciate your order, man. And uh, we'll get this out to you in just a couple days. Thank you for making it a cinch. And uh, we'll talk soon.